All right, uh, welcome back. In this problem, uh, the first one is asking us, does does this set of vectors, so S is this set of uh, five vectors here, is this set as uh, form uh, basis set? Okay, and then uh, does it form a basis set for S, if not, and it wants us to uh, form not construct a basis for s okay meaning if um, if it doesn't span the whole space then uh, construct a whatever size space it does span so create a basis for that okay um, so the especially when you have this many many matrices or many vectors um, I find it's easiest to put them into a coefficient matrix so negative two one three four one that's v1 six negative three negative nine negative twelve three that's v2 uh, one the two three negative two and negative one and then seven, zero, three, negative 10, is that a negative three? Yeah, and a negative three. And then uh, six, negative two, negative six, negative eight, and negative two. Okay, so um, if we look at this matrix, then we can use uh, the row reduced echelon form of this matrix. Um, and I, so I put this in to GeoGebra, and uh, I got out the following reduced row echelon form. I got one, zero, 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 zero. I got a negative three, zero, 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 zero. And then I got a zero, one, zero, zero, zero. And then I got a zero, zero, one, zero, zero. And last but not least, I got a zero, negative one, one, uh, zero, zero. Okay, so this is clearly not the identity matrix, and in fact, you can see that uh, that made that uh, v two, v two is really uh, negative three v one. So that's a linear combination, uh, and it looks like uh, v five can be written as negative v3 plus v4. Okay, so v2 and v5 are, are both linear combinations of the other vectors in the set. Okay, so, um, so what that says is that the set uh, is not um, the set of vectors v1, v2, v3, v4, and v5. Okay, so this set uh, is not, not a basis for R5. Okay, uh, meaning that the you would need five independent vectors to span to span the space, and so clearly you have two rows of zeros here, uh, which means that any vector that has a a fifth component or a fourth component um, cannot be cannot be built out of out of this set of vectors. Okay, and as we've seen, v two and v five are actually linear combinations of this set of vectors, and so it looks like um, v one. Let's see, v one here. V1, uh, V3, and V4. Okay, so V1, V3, and V4. So those three vectors then actually form the basis of our of this set S. Okay, and so the basis set for S, so S is going to be then equal to uh, the vector negative 2, 1, 3, 4, 1. Uh, 1, 2, 3, negative 2, negative one and uh, seven, zero, negative three, negative 10, negative three. Okay, so then this is the basis set for this um, space now, this space S, okay?
meaning any vector in S can be written as a linear combination of the, these three vectors. Okay, and then in part B, um, it's asking, does it span R5? Uh, well, we just kind of answered that, right? So no, it's not a basis for R5 because we need five independent vectors, okay? And so um, kind of answered that in, in connection to answering uh, the basis set here. Uh, so in other words, if, if you really wanted to think about it, um, suppose we had a vectors of the form 0, 0, 0, uh, A, B, okay? Or, or even uh, 0, 0, 0, A, 0, okay? Or, <laughs> I mean, you could kind of get the idea, right? Uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, B, Right, so any vectors of any of these three forms, right, would not be formed in the set S. You could not form it out of the set S. So, uh, but these, but each of these vectors are elements of R five. So here's three examples uh, that are elements of R five, but that can't be built out of this set, uh, which shows that this can't be a basis for R five. Okay, so I hope that's helpful, and I'll see you in the next.